那个那个那个，干啥不能穿呢？那个，别他妈笑了，那个，放弃我。<laughs> What's up, y'all? Trace Travels here with another video. So, I'm fucking pissed. Fucking absolutely disgusting. That's absolutely disgusting. It's unacceptable and it's fucking trash. So, um, Sonny Weems and the player Han, uh, they had like a little altercation in the previous game. So now, uh, Sonny is getting on the fucking getting off the bus and then you can see those uh, bitch ass fans shouting that shit. Unacceptable. See, here's a, here's a reality, all right? This is a reality that doesn't want to be spoken, but I'm here to speak the truth. That's the reality of how it is in China now. Now, I've been living here since 2017. Personally, I've never experienced that type of uh, shit before. Never, not even close but I've heard a lot of stories from black people, you know, from a lot of extreme racism to even attacks, I've heard that. I've never experienced it. Um, but the thing is now there's this narrative that all foreigners are bad. The, the, the more we pass by, the more nationalistic it gets here. And there's nothing wrong with being proud of where you're from, but now it's the, we hate all foreigners. That's how they are here, we hate all foreigners. My issue with the double standards that gets created here. Basically, oh, we can say whatever we want to you guys, but you can't say anything about us. You must love China. You must say everything good about China. You can't say nothing bad about China. However, we can say bad stuff about your country. That, that, and that's, that's how it is. I remember when COVID first happened, um, they, they didn't want anybody to shame them. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, and every, the whole world was, you know, not necessarily the whole world, there are people that were, you know, shaming China, but you know, you had people saying, you know, we stand with you, China, you know, blah, blah, blah. Then when the situation in China got better and then COVID started getting around the rest of the world, it was ha ha ha, foreigners are dirty, foreigners have COVID, you know, blah, 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 get out of China, you know, stuff like that. It's always just double fucking standard that goes on. And anytime these guys do something uh, racist, ignorant, there's always people justifying their actions. It's always, always someone justifying their actions that, oh, they're just not cultured, they don't know better. Nah, fuck that shit. They know what the fuck they're doing. China is the number, the, the, the has the second largest economy, came in second place in the Olympics. Fuck that shit, they know exactly what they're doing. And those motherfuckers who said that shit, they know what the fuck they were doing, fuck them. I guarantee you they wouldn't go to Atlanta saying that. I would love for them to go to Atlanta saying that shit. I love that. Cause them motherfuckers wouldn't make it out alive. Go to Atlanta, go to the south side of Atlanta. Go to the west side, you wouldn't last. Them, them motherfuckers wouldn't last. That's, that's absolutely unacceptable. Now, I'm not saying that this is a reflection of all of China because it's not, like I said, I've never experienced that, but what we see right here is unacceptable. And I don't even think it'll get the, the mainstream headline like it should be. You know, what happened to stop Asian hate? When the Asian community was, was being attacked, oh, we all, we was against that shit. I was definitely against that shit. I, I was so against, you know, Asians getting attacked. I, I, and I still am. But this shit right here, yelling that shit, that's unacceptable, it's wrong. But of course, they're not gonna report it here because, you know, they gotta keep their all, all foreigners or bad shit. Right now, we have, you know, some COVID cases. And anytime there's some COVID cases around, you know, the, the non-Chinese, the foreigners, we're looked at, you know, awful. You know, like we have the virus and, you know, we get dirty looks and hassle all the fucking time. All the time. You know, if we did that shit to y'all, y'all would be screaming, you know, racism and victimhood. See, when people say shit like, oh, they just don't know any better. Yes, they do. Because if you do the same thing to them and they respond and they're not happy, that means they know what they did was wrong. That means they know that. This needs to fucking stop. We need to stop giving, allowing them and justifying their behavior. It's not okay. That's not okay under any circumstance. CBA, they need to fucking... They, they need to, you know, let that be known. That shit's not cool. That shit is not cool. Um, not at all. My friend, he is a coach for the CBA. That was outside of his hotel. So, and I was up in that city last week. You know what I'm saying? I was up there. So, to those fans, 
fuck you. Eat a fucking dick. You're a pussy. You're a bitch. Fuck those motherfucking fans. Like I said, I'm not shaming all of Chinese. I'm not shaming all of China. I'm not doing that. But what I am saying is this is a reality. When COVID happened two years ago, black people were literally banned from McDonald's and going jump. That was a real thing. I know of someone that was banned from McDonald's. Imagine if we did that in, in the US, we banned Chinese from entering McDonald's. It'd be all over CNN. So that, that's just not cool. They need to, something needs to be addressed from this. It needs to be addressed. And if you're Chinese, you need to say something. You need to speak up. Let your friends know that shit's not cool. Unacceptable. That's fucking, absolutely not. Fuck that. Uh-uh. No. Absolutely not. Those fans, you know what? Go to hell. Those, those fans out there. That is just pathetic. If you don't like Sonny, that's one thing. You know what I'm saying? You're not a fan of him because you're, you know, he's the, he's the opposing team. But the, the shout that, and then y'all have black players on your fucking team. So how does that make you look, you dipshit stupid fans? Y'all are here laughing, saying this shit. You know what you're doing. Go to Atlanta saying that shit. I fucking dare y'all motherfuckers. You would not fucking last. Y'all motherfuckers would not last. This double standard shit needs to come to a fucking end. Ain't, ain't no passes. It's 2022. All that ignorance, excuses, fuck that shit. Right is right, wrong is wrong. Your geographical location does not determine that. If it's wrong, it's wrong. If it's right, it's right. I don't give a fuck if we're on Mars. I don't give a fuck if we're on the fucking sun. They, they know it's wrong. Simple as that. Now, as I've stated, I've been here since 2017 and I've never experienced anything like that, not even close. For the most part, I am treated very good here. People are nice to me. They're respectful of me. And if I can be honest, I'm treated better here than I ever was back in Atlanta. So my experience may be different from other people's experience. And I'm not saying... Uh, all of this to, you know, discourage anybody from coming because, yeah, I would like for you guys to one day visit China when borders are, are open and for you guys to come and visit Asia. Because like I said, this is not a reflection of all of China, but I am stating that what you saw in the video is uh, a reflection of some of the idiot clowns that are uncultured, maybe from the village or whatever that know absolutely nothing, such as, you know, fans like that. So yeah, what I'm saying in the video, um, for the most part, there's truth to it. But um, personally, I've never experienced things like that. And my experience is, has, has been positive for the most part. But, you know, um, due to time changes, uh, with, you know, the situation we're in, you know, via COVID, uh, there's been a shift in attitude. So that's a real thing. But like I said, this is not, you know, the shame all of China or anything like that. I live here. I choose to live here and I would prefer to live here than I would prefer to live in Atlanta. So yeah, um, don't let that discourage any of you guys from coming, but you know, there's racism everywhere. And, you know, as black men, you know, they, you know, we, we, they, you, you know, you know what I mean. So, you know what I mean? That's just all over the world. So anyway, uh, hope you, you know, enjoyed the video. And like I said, I still always encourage you to travel. Like this video, subscribe to me, comment down below, follow me on Instagram at T underscore William 3222. Check out my other YouTube channel, Comic Book Sports. If you like boxing, MMA, Marvel, DC, video games, superhero related topics, I cover that stuff. And purchase my book on Amazon, Surviving China as an Expat. I wrote a book about China, tips on how to survive there. So if you're interested in moving there or you're just curious to you know what it's like from my point of view, check it out. All right, I'm out.